KFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrial Trading down 174, NASDAQ off 130, S&P's off 32. Gold, gold contract down $4.50, trading to 2000 <coughs> Excuse me, 163 an ounce. We have silver up uh, 39 cents, $25.45 an ounce. Copper, look at that baby. F up $7, uh, $7, seven and a half cents, 412 an ounce. Light sweet crude flat, $80.96 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10 year note. Down four ticks, trading 110.02, the 30-year flat at 118.23, and King Dollar, where are you, King Dollar? King Dollar's up 75 ticks, trading 103.437, Euro 108, Yen at 149, British Pound 127 to 1 US dollar. Triple witching coming up, folks, here we go. Let's take a look at this contract, this S&P contract, and figure out where we're gonna go here. So, we've been down as far as 40 handles, Right now, you're down 33. Actually, it was uh, you're down you're down 50 handles. Yeah. So let's see what we got here. So the lows have already got tested. Yeah, the lows got tested for sure. Now the question is, but there's no high volume highs out here either. So bottom line is that we'll see where this shakes out. That's the uh, the yin and the yang. Let's go into the NQs and see if the NQs are giving us anything. NQ. Okay, so the low is tested. You know, when this happens, um, yeah, probably the counter trend bounce where we went earlier today. That's where we'll probably go. Because the sellers stopped selling in, inside the NQ at uh, 18,103. And we're at 18,085 right now. So, you, yeah, we're below that number. But my point is, is that when you don't have any other high volume spikes down, it's like you're going to go higher. So I suspect we're going to run into the what one eighteen thousand one seventy two here. So that's up a hundred from where we are. Now let me go back over to these S and P's for a second. We're going to see the same thing there. So yeah, so that that number there is. 5201 and we're at 5186. Stay right there folks, come right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor